estoy bastante solo. What's up, buddy? How are you? Santiago. Fine? How are you? Oh, that's mine. Santiago. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Uh, who, are, who are oh, I'm you? I'm John. I'm John. I I, uh, I came here to find uh, Federico. Where's no, where Federico? Is no, it's not here. Federico, no, no, vino. No, está con where's Messi. Federico? It's with Messi in Barcelona. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I came all the way from California to see Federico. He's not here. Uh, so, uh, me parece que te vas a tener que arreglar con, conmigo, que soy lo poco que queda. Soy Santiago Rego. Bienvenidos a TNT. No tenemos un programa muy especial porque tenemos al señor John Bernhal acá, actor multi famoso de multiseries. Ustedes lo tienen que conocer y si no lo conocen, se lo vamos a estar presentando ahora mismo. Como siempre, esto es un poquito de lo que vas a ver hoy. Le gusta mi remera y estamos muy contentos por eso. Y es el momento en el programa, no se lo habíamos explicado a John, pero es el momento en el programa en que mostramos las remeras como siempre. Esta es una remera de Daredevil. Obviamente, he's the man. Esta es la serie que empezó su segunda temporada, que empieza su segunda temporada, ya está disponible en Netflix su segunda temporada, donde el señor tiene un rol muy particular. One match. John, you are the Punisher. The Punisher is finally coming to the Devil Season 2. Uh, how's the Punisher that you're going to bring to, to the screen? How is he? Uh, he's angry, you know? <laughs> he's, he's very angry. angry. Yeah, 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 he's angry, I think. Uh, he, he's going to be a, a man filled with rage, uh, with darkness, and... Uh, Hopefully, um, hopefully uh, Daredevil won't get in his way too much. I need to take care of the scum that killed my family. We're going to see a season two that is darker than season one. Uh, Generous Blake is speaking. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, what they achieved on the show last year was, uh, you know, the deepest, darkest, uh, most gritty corner of the Marvel Universe. Mm -hmm. And uh, our job uh, this year was to just take it a little further. Are you happy to be there in that world, in that Hell's Kitchen dark uh, world? Yeah, yeah, it's an honor. You it's enjoy those characters. I, I, mean, I, 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 uh, I do, I do. You, I do. You've been Shane in, in The Walking mm -hmm. Dead. What mm -hmm. a difference between a zombie apocalypse, <laughs> very yeah, dark world, and this uh, New York City Hell's Kitchen violent mob world. Yeah, look, I think it's a similar thing that, that, that we're after. I think what they did with uh, Walking Dead was they... Um, They took the zombie genre and they tried to elevate it, you know, make it uh, nuanced storytelling, focus on the character, you know, make it a human piece, but set it in the zombie apocalypse. It's the same with Daredevil, you know, it's a superhero show, but it's about human beings. And uh, what Charlie Cox achieved in, in, in his portrayal of, of Daredevil, it's a, it's a real human, it's a real man. Bang. What are we going to see? Are we going to see kind of a friendship or they are going to be fighting with the devil every chapter? You have to watch, man. You can watch right now. Go yeah. to Netflix. You can find out everything. Yeah. <laughs> are you dreaming about a spin-off with the Punisher? Are you thinking that it's probably I, going to be another serious spin-off of Daredevil? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's not for me to say. You know, I, I'm focused on, on Daredevil season two and, and, and what they do with Frank. We'll see. The Guild means your work is not yet finished. Downtown office thinks we got a new player in Hell's Kitchen. What do they want? The DA's office says the shooter's independent. He's tracking gangs to their home turf. We know that they're going to be another series with Iron Fist, with Luke Cage, uh, perhaps with season two of mm -hmm. Jessica Jones. Mm -hmm. uh, are you planning to, to be on those series too? Uh, you know, the, the thing with Marvel is they don't tell you anything, so no. you probably know as much as I do. So if you find out, you let me know and tell me where I'm going to be working, because I, I don't know. I, I will say to, to, to audition for a role that, that probably you, 
you don't know what was all about. Yeah, no, look, I, 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 it's an iconic character. He's been around forever, so I, of course I had some idea, but one of the, the greatest parts about the job was to read every comic book I possibly could and, and, and to dive in as, uh, as fully as I could, and uh, I'm now I'm, I'm a fan for life. I'm done apologizing to you for who I am. The city needs me. This isn't your city anymore. My way isn't working. What if they're never asked? And uh, how's being the reaction of the fans? I mean, how, have you encountered in Comic Con or some yeah, yeah, events yeah, yeah, yeah. like that? Look, the fans, book, how, yeah, how, they're the how best. they're going to react? Yeah, they're the best. You know, comic book fans are the best fans in the world. They're smart and they're passionate and they're loyal, and I, I, I want to do right by them. And it's uh, been a thrill for me to be here uh, in Buenos Aires and, and, and see the fans here. It, uh, it, it, it touches my heart, and uh, I just I, I, I can't tell you how, how appreciative uh, I am. Do you like the city? I mean, do, do you, uh, could you imagine uh, like a masked vigilante on our streets, on Buenos Aires? On these Aires? streets? Yes, on Everybody's Buenos Aires. so cool here. Everybody's chilled out. I think that, uh, no, you know. You There's know, no place for yeah, that guy. Like, come on, man, go easy. Like, why are you so angry? You know, I, I don't know if the Punisher would work. Have an empanada. Ah, <laughs> yeah, have yeah. an empanada, right. That's right. It's like good food, chill. Like, everybody's like cool, you know. I'm glad to. Yeah. To, to hear that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've been with Elodie Young. Uh, how's yeah. the relationship with uh, with her? She's also one of the the, the new characters mm -hmm. there in, in The Devil. I think uh, I think people are going to be really happy with what she does. She's mm -hmm. uh, an unbelievable actress and, and 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 an unbelievable person. I'm proud to call her a friend. Estuvimos también con Elodie Young. Elodie Young va a ser de Electra en la segunda temporada de Daredevil. También estuvimos hablando con ella. Desafortunadamente no la pudimos traer, no la pudimos traer acá, pero por supuesto estamos con John, que es el número uno. Pero mira lo que charlamos con Elodie Young hace unos días. ¿Hungry? Who is Electra? Um, Electra, she, she's, uh, she's quite hard to describe because um, to me it feels like I started with the comics and then with discussions with the writers, she wanted her to be a sociopath. Uh, and then I had a, I had a, I think a strong input in, you know, in this on this character. I really tried to bring a lot of my feelings and uh, because she has this bond with Matthew, Um, so I, I couldn't make her a complete sociopath, like a cold, yeah. manipulative woman. I don't think she is 100% that. So I really tried to explore this relationship and this this love yeah. that she once had for, for Matthew. Um, and and you know, as the as we received more and more episodes, she, it was just every time a surprise for me because she she has a proper arc in the series and. Um, And then she starts at a point, and then mm -hmm. she really evolves into something else. Would you believe it if I said I missed you? No. I need your help, Matthew. You're the only person I can trust. Oh, sweetheart, you don't break into my house and then talk to me about trust. You have a very strong chemistry with Charlie. I mean, yes. Yeah, you two really very, very well. It, it works yeah, you well. should date. I mean, <laughs> we should date. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it, 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 like the first time we met, it was for this audition, uh -huh. and uh, they call it um, chemistry read yeah. to see if we have chemistry. <laughs> yeah. And it worked. It just worked straight away. And I think we we didn't have to talk much about Matthew and Electra's relationship. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. were just trying things on the day, and things would work things wouldn't work um, and that was just the good thing about us we were just trying things and, uh, well, screen, and it's like it a dance very you know? well. yeah well thank you thank you I'm, 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 thank you until a few years ago uh, the lead characters that uh, girls could relate uh, were princesses I mean Uh, are you excited to, to bring more strong female characters to, to fiction? 
Yeah, some of his we heroes. need we need uh, we need a variety of female characters. You know, um, often people ask me, oh, "Do you like playing strong, badass characters?" <laughs> and I do enjoy that uh, absolutely. But I'd absolutely enjoy playing, you know, a, a, a woman who struggles with her life, who goes through, you know problems, um, who's not especially strong. Everybody's got a, a crazy ex-girlfriend. How, <laughs> how you get inspiration from your previous relationships to the, to the character? Well, I think you should ask the, this to Charlie because I think he brought it in one interview. He's like, yeah, everyone <laughs> has this crazy ex-girlfriend. For me, um, I didn't work on that. I re yeah, I tried to explore the craziness that Electra has, and it, it, it's it's you know it's, it's the sociopathy that we were talking about. Um, to really try to understand why she reacts this way, yeah. why she do this, you know, these killings and and all that. Um, but um, so yeah, I, I tried to explore that as much as I tried to bring some humanity to her as well. Bueno, señores y señores, estuvimos con John Berham. It's an honor to, to, for us to, to have you here. Sí, claro, es honor uh, And, uh, well, we hope uh, that, that there's a the Punisher spin-off. I mean, we, we are dreaming about the, the Punisher <laughs> spin-off. Uh, we know uh, uh, Ariel Olivetti is a well-known um, artist here. He, ah. He's been penciling uh, the Punisher for, oh, wow, for, wow, wow. for a while, and so he was very excited about ah, you cool. being here cool, too. Cool, 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 cool. Um, bueno, nos tenemos que ir a una pausa. Ya vamos a volver. Vamos a tener este, más de eso. Vamos a tener eh, mucho más sobre la nueva manera de consumir entretenimiento, eh, porque ustedes saben, la gente está mirando series y está mirando televisión de otra manera, y hay toda una generación que está consumiendo entretenimiento de otra manera, a través de YouTube, a través de Netflix, a través de otros sistemas. Así que eso lo vamos a ver, pero después de esta pausa, quédate. Thank you.